Hello everyone, this is Sonam. Today in this video, we will discuss how to create a PDF using Power Automate. Uh, also, if this uh, this session will cover using a automated flow. That means uh, we will convert uh, at the end we will uh, convert a Word document to a PDF. So bef before that, we will uh, see first what is a PDF. A PDF stands for Portable Document Format. If we save a file in PDF format, it can be modified or customized, but, but we can easily share to others it and print it also. It is the one of the most commonly used file types in today. Now we will see how to convert a file to a PDF format. Suppose we want to convert a text file or a word file to a PDF format. So here I am just uh, showing you that uh, how the flow is uh, we have we will create how the flow is look like and next uh, we will see how to create this flow step by step process in in microsoft power automate allow us to create a pdf in freely using pre-built actions and and connectors uh, without a, if we don't have any premium actions and con connectors uh, still we can do this by uh, freely by my microsoft power automate okay let's see how to create this so here i just uh, log in my user id in office 365 uh, so let's go that app launcher and then here we will find uh, the power automate open a new tab so it will open a new tab uh, then also we have created uh, we have opened that uh, uh, sharepoint so in my sharepoint uh, i have created in the document library and within that document library i have created two folders so whenever i will upload any folders in this uh, test folder i have created a document library uh, in within that document library i have created two folders like test folder and convert pdf so it is my uh, source and it is my destination folder uh, whenever i will insert some any word documents in test folder it will convert uh, it will convert to PDF format uh, by using the Power Automate and automatically it will insert a, it will upload it in that converted PDF in this folder and it will del delete it from this folder also. Okay, le let's proceed this in our automation. Uh, so let's go to that Power Automate. So whenever I will open my Power Automate environment, it will look like this. Then let's go to create the flow, go to create and here we will select the automated cloud flow let's give a flow name before we will create the flow uh, first we have to create a uh, we have to give a flow name i just give a name uh, convert pdf using power automated flow then next uh, select a trigger uh, so when select the trigger when a file is created yeah here this one when a file is created so click on create it will create, create the trigger in power automate environment then next uh, next give the say, site address and mandatory uh, then library name what uh, is my library name it is document then select the folder so click on this and give the folder path share yeah, document under that uh, share document what will be my destination source file source file source folder is test folder so whenever i will uh, uploaded any file uh, any word document in that uh, uh, file uh, sorry a word document in a test folder then it will convert it to pdf so here i just mentioned my uh, the source folder then in click on the new step get file content so that when the um, when a new file is created it will it by this action get file act content we can get that file content so similarly here we have to give the site address and file identifier so using a file identifier it can get the file content next uh, in next step once the file uh, once the once it will get the file content it will create a file in a um, temporary location so we will create it in create file for uh, for a temporary storage uh, we are using that uh, uh, OneDrive for the root folder we are giving that uh, slash otherwise you can uh, in give any folder path so file name file name with extension then next in file content so here it is get from the get file content we will select the file content then in next step 
once the file is created in uh, one drive so it will convert it uh, to um, the pdf format so there is an action that convert file convert file yeah here it is uh, okay so here we will give that id and the it is showing the pdf format so, so uh, this would be a uh, pdf target type so it will create the pdf in uh, one drive next we will uh, we will create this uh, pdf uh, once the it will converted into pdf we will go to that we will create this file pdf file into a sharepoint our sharepoint destination folder so that convert pdfs so next we will create file under the as we are create this file in sharepoint so we will select that sharepoint create file uh, in sharepoint connector give that site address then next we will folder path folder path should be share document under the share document it is converted pdfs we are giving our destination folder then file name so here we have to insert that dot pdf we can uh, insert the real uh, the first name uh, just like uh, let's uh, okay just give the actual name so the actual name is file name yeah. name dot pdf then the con uh, in content file it should be the file content and that's it now it is converted that file to uh, it will convert that word file into the um, pdf format and then it will store in that uh, uh, document library folder then we uh, next in next step we will delete that file from our second uh, secondary storage that uh, temporary storage to do this uh, delete file sort yeah delete file then by using the identifier id we will yeah here this one from the create file under that create file we will select that id so it will delete that file from the, the one drive and then similarly we will delete that uh, word file from that uh, so from that source source folder to do this uh, again select that action file delete file then select that delete file under the sharepoint connector then give the site address and then select the identifier to and now our flow is ready let's save it first then we will test it if it is and then we will check whether it is any error or not then we will test it as there is no error the so it is showing that the airflow is ready to go we recommend to test it if it is any error is there present then it will show uh, a red 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 cross otherwise it will show it as a green tick so let's take it next step uh, in next step we will test it manually first and click on test uh, so it will notify us to see it work now perform a starting action perform the starting action so first we will uh, insert a in test folder we will insert it we will upload a word document we will upload a word document from our uh, local system so i just go to that uh, upload option then file so it will show the varieties of file that stored in our uh, local system then from there we can uh, select any file any word document so here is our word document docs file is uh, uploaded already next we will go to that our uh, flow section so here we can see so let's check it whether it is going go so here it is uh, in run history we can see our uh, flow is uh, ran successfully so let's check this uh, in this uh, destination folder let's check this destination folder to yes uh, in few a few second ago so that means it is uh, converted to pdf file and we can see from here it will delete that uh, pdf word file also automatically